The first great feast day of the church year is the Nativity of the Mother of God on September 8th, and it is, of course, our parish feast day. Once Christians began celebrating the feast of Christ's birth, in time it seemed only natural to celebrate the birth of his mother, and we see some similarities in the icons of both events. The apocryphal Gospel of James provides the details for our icon. The wealthy Joachim and his wife Anna suffered because they had grown old and been unable to conceive children. Still, they trusted in the Lord, and Anna receives a message from an angel that she will give birth to a wondrous child. In our icon, we see St. Anna inside a very fine house, sitting up in bed after childbirth, her head tilted and supported by her left hand, showing us that she's tired after the hardship of labor, but also deep in thought at the miraculous implications of this birth. The draped cloth at the top tells us this is an indoor scene. One of the housemaids offers her some food, and two maidens attend to her, one carrying a fan to cool this new mother from the heat of the day. We see St. Joachim at the upper right, looking through a window at the scene below him. At the bottom, two midwives prepare to give the newborn baby a bath, and one of them tests the temperature of the water with her hand. As always, children and icons are painted looking like adults, only smaller in size. The scene is tranquil and calm, but filled with vivid and rich colors to express the joy of this birth. The Theotokos, the God-bearer, has come into the world. At Vespers we sing, Today let Anna, barren and childless, clap her hands with joy. Let all things put on their brightest and best. Anna says, The Lord has given me the palace of his divine and living glory to be a place of joy and happiness for the whole world and for the salvation of our souls. The birth of every child is a most wonderful, miraculous event, but the birth of the Virgin Mary should bring joy not only to Joachim and Anna, but to all of us who believe in Christ, because her faith in God's Word will bring us the birth of our Savior, and our faith in Christ's Word will bring us salvation.